Hi, so this video is just to show you how to shop my website. So the first thing you're going to do is either follow the link that you've gotten from the party or my VIP group or that I've messaged you, or you type in, if you're in Canada, uh, we'll do that one for today, mycanadazaya.com slash Zaya active with Jan. And this will bring up this page. So to shop, you're going to click this little part here that says shop. And then this brings up all of the parties that are available to shop from right now. So if you are in a party, you find your party. If you're coming from my VIP group, you come here and you click shop. This will then bring up a little screen that tells you who your host is. And if this is the right party you want to shop in, you click shop now. Then this first page that comes up, this is the new and favorite. So this is where on Wednesdays new releases get put and it's where they stay until the next week. And then when new ones are loaded, they get loaded here. If you want to change the category and view other things right here is the category button. If you're shopping on mobile, it'll just be these three little lines. You don't see the word category, but that is the category spot. So you can shop several different ways. One of them, you can click women's and it brings up all the different categories um, that are available and you can just browse through them. You can pick an activity. So it has casual, swimmer, running, yoga, gym, golf, lots of things. And then you can also shop by size, which is amazing. So let's say you're a size large. You click that and it'll bring up all the things that are in stock in your size. Sometimes you'll run into, it will show as available and then you try to add to cart and it doesn't, but for the most part, these are the things that will be available. So these black pocket light and tights are amazing. I need those in my life. I'm going to add to cart. This green right here means it has been added. Green means go. If you get a red or a yellow, that means it's not in stock and it will not have added to your cart. If you want to keep shopping, you can go back to that category by clicking back on your thing, but it will bring up this loading product and it'll get stuck here. But if you click the refresh button on your browser, it actually will bring you back to the menu. So you can keep going and you're like, oh, I need a Navy copper charge tank. Let's see here. Yep, add to cart. So we got green, we're good. All right, so if you are ready to check out you click here on this cart, shopping cart button. I had already added some things to the cart, so they're gonna show up there. So um, your browser will remember some things and leave them there um, when you're shopping, and sometimes it doesn't. It's hit or miss how it does. So if you don't want these other things you had in there, you can click this little box here and then remove. If you have it to get removed from your order. If you have multiple things that you want to get rid of, you can click them. You change your mind. Oh, I don't need a copper charge tank right now. Come down here and you can remove selected. If you decide I changed my mind about everything, you can clear your cart. Yes. And then it'll bring you back. Actually, no, it doesn't. So then you can go back to the previous screen, press refresh and you can keep shopping again. Oh, I do, so you decide, oh, I do want that copper charge tank, and that's all I'm getting. Add to your cart, view your cart, proceed to checkout. And there we go, it's loading, <laughs> sorry. And then this is where you add in all of your shipping information, and then you save and continue. It brings you to the next screen. So if I have, um, sorry, one more screen. This will then um, let you go over your details, make sure you entered them all right. It'll say what you have in your cart. It'll give you your shipping costs and your taxes, and then you pay for order. So if I have given you a gift certificate to use, like I've actually already added it here, this is where you do it. You take this, it's actually a drop down menu, and you choose gift certificate, and you choose add. So I have one, nope, let's see what happens when I do this. We'll try that one and we'll put in a dollar. <laughs> no, we just want a dollar. And then save payment. 
And there we go. It added it here. You want to make sure you add your gift certificates before your own credit card information or else it won't give you a chance. Well, you can add it, edit the totals, but it's just easier. So then you would add in your credit card info, click add. It brings up this screen. You put it in and you register. I'm not going to do that with you right now. And there we have our loading screen again. But if you refresh, you're all good. And then once you have all the payment in, there will be a box that comes up here that says pay for order. You click that and then it'll bring you to a confirmation screen. So you need to see a green confirmation screen to be assured that your order has gone through. If you get um, an error message, you have to refresh until you see green. Otherwise your order has not been placed. Um, so that is it, just the basics of how to shop the website. Um, let me know if you have any questions.